All right, welcome to the video this week. This is Iron Man Key coming to you, my triathlon journey. So I gotta open these things up. Uh, they look kind of rough. They've been in my um, in my bag for about four to six weeks, so they look pretty bad. But the ones I'm using currently aren't that great either. I mean, you can't even see out of them. So these are the R ones. So R series model one and gain a clear advantage with a Roca R1. R1 radically enhances siding while reducing drag, which is good. The breakthrough design of the R1 translates to a faster, more direct swim with less effort. With rapid sight technology, you will sight targets more quickly and clear clearly, reduce the need to elevate your head, stay on the feet of the swimmer in front maintain a more efficient body position. So I'm all about that. Let's get this one. <sighs> so these goggles are very streamlined. Oh my goodness. <sighs> so. <sighs> Sights targets more quickly and clearly. Reduces the need to elevate your head. Stay on the feet of the swimmer in front, maintaining more efficient body position. I agree with all of the above. They're very streamlined. Um, I would definitely recommend them. They are Roka. All right, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a drill. And they are the R ones. So definitely pick those up. All right, tonight is run night. So we did about a nine minute pace for 41 minutes bunch of hills I mean we were just climbing up and down uh, nine minute pace is pretty strong for hills so definitely very very pleased with tonight's workout um, it is about 65 with uh, no humidity uh, so definitely had to uh, bundle up so to speak had to put on a sweater and a shirt just to you know keep your chest warm you uh, definitely don't want to get a like a chest cold or something when you're training for an Ironman so it's 40 days out today so 39 uh, tomorrow uh, tomorrow I can't wait till tomorrow I'm pretty excited I'm gonna flip my bike to Saturday just see what kind of mileage I can get in Saturday because I do work uh, 12 hours Saturday so we'll just see what time I get off how I feel you know what I can do I can always make it up Sunday what I'm you know lacking on Saturday. Let's say I do an hour or two. You know, I'll, I'll clean that up on Sunday and then finish that off with a brick. So, pretty intriguing. You, I mean, you got to keep it changing, uh, changing it up, so to speak. Keep your body guessing. Uh, like tonight, I was like, ah, oh, I'm only going to do the lake, which is like three miles. And then, because I was just dreading that first mile. But when I got that, past that first mile, started out with, you know, like an eight minute pace had a uh, three minute three three plus on my endurance it measures your endurance when you start out sometimes I get a negative sometimes I get a zero sometimes I get a one but tonight I got a three plus so starting out pretty strong and then just got my groove and just move right along and you know four and a half miles later nine minute pace real strong with the hills so I wasn't feeling the workout I was kind of unhappy with the workout but once I started going and I'm done, it was amazing. It, it couldn't have went better. So, tomorrow's gonna be the swim. Like I said, I can't wait. Uh, it's gonna be four laps, so over and back. So it's gonna be four times uh, total. Uh, for a total of 2,000 meters, 1.2, roughly somewhere around there. So see where we're gonna be at for Haines City for the swim. Uh, kind of been building up to this. And now we're to the point where we need to just turn that race pace on and see where we're at. So tomorrow's a new day. All right, so this is not Lucky's. 
This is the Grady Pool. We woke up at 5.15 this morning and checked the water temp at Lucky's and it was 68 degrees. 67, 67 degrees, even worse. So I'll do I'll do 70 plus, but anything other than that, my training goes void, it's no good, and I don't enjoy it. So we're gonna go into the Grady Pool here at Kelly Rec, and we're gonna get our swim on. Thanks, bud. Hot baby. It's a Grady pool. So there's a robot class over there going on. So So, I'm going to use a heart rate monitor today by Garmin, and it does the swim, bike, and the run. It's a little bit more accurate than the watch. I really enjoy it because it, it gives me better results. And then it computes with what the Garmin watch has, and then what the heart rate has as far as the monitor goes, and it gives you the best results. So today's going to be our, it's going to be a race pace swim. That was my goal today to sit out and do that. So the water's probably 78, 79. Um, funny story though, I forgot my wetsuit, not that I would wear it, and I forgot my sim shorts. So now I get to wear these. I think they're Nikes. But uh, yeah, let's get the swim on. Enough yakking. And at 40. Whew. Just forgot to start my watch though. All right, so we're out here in the middle of nowhere. Look at that sunset, man. That thing is just priceless. So we're gonna do a mile time trial. So I'm gonna push myself as hard as I can, as fast as I can, and see what I can get in one mile down this dirt road in the middle of nowhere. Look at this, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I love this. So. Let's set the watch and get the, uh, what you call it, the location, GPS going, and it says beep, GPS is good. So we're ready.
How you feel? Great. What's the weather feel like? Look at this, it's about 65. It's definitely 73. About an eight minute pace. 0.86 in, almost to the mile mark. Push through, baby. Hain City coming up. He won't have a cow to run with him, though. That's true. I mean, he could have human cows. This cow probably hasn't been down this far in the field since it's been out here. You're probably right. <laughs> Coming up a one mile. Let's go, baby. Push. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Show me what you got, Mulberry. That's it. Woo. 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 The cow's still running. He don't realize we made it a mile. He ran a mile. That cow ran a mile. Oh. Look at that says something behind me. This video does not do it justice. I mean, it is beautiful. Look at that. Just the way it hits the saw grass. Oh, it's beautiful. It's perfect. So, I want to get my PB 1.02, 7.41 pace. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, 7.48 total for the one mile. So, that's what this train is all about, is starting low low intensity and then increasing the intensity and then that is how you get results like i said before you have to put the work in you put the work in you're going to get guaranteed results guaranteed results but at the end of the day you have to push through you have to push on to get results that's the main focus get them results you can't show up to a marathon and never ran a day in your life to train for the marathon. If not, you're gonna run a mile or two and that's all you got. You show up, you've trained eight, 10, 12 weeks, you're gonna blow that thing away. Just like we're gonna do this Ironman in Haines City. So, more to come. All right, tonight went fantastic. Uh, we started about 5.45, and we ended at 8.45. So about a three hour ride, about a 16 mile an hour pace, a lot of hills, a lot of headwind. Uh, it was definitely pretty entertaining. Uh, started at Lake Collinsworth in Lakeland, Florida, and went all the way to Bradley, past Bradley, to Agrico, turn around, came back through Bartow, through South Lakeland, and now I'm back here at the lake. Just a big circle. Um, 29 hours recovery, that's a joke because I got a long run tomorrow, long run Sunday, as you know. Uh, we're gonna look at our heart rate, and our heart rate, this thing will stop acting wacky on me. Uh, heart rate was 127, so I'm getting it down. It, it's been about 137 or a little higher, so I'm happy with 127. That's phenomenal. Um, you want to, like my max heart rate is, I think, 177. So, 
definitely good that I am in that range of, let's see what's going on here. Oh, come on. 127 is the range that I've been in. Uh, feel really good. My legs are a little tired, my quads a little heavy. Uh, Cause that's how it works when you're on a long bike ride. Uh, feet felt pretty good, check in with those. Uh, bike performed really well, really pleased with the Cannondale. Uh, it's real light, so when you hit those crosswinds, you can definitely feel the bike, you know, move a little bit. So, like, tomorrow's gonna be a long run. Um, gonna do something special. Probably gonna do um, something called 20 questions tomorrow. A uh, few of my interests, you know, what's been going on, you know, how I feel about the triathlon sport, Ironman. Uh, gonna sum it up all in 20 questions. So, see you tomorrow, bright and early. All right, we're about four miles in, about eight minute pace. Uh, everything's going spectacular. Uh, I really wanna talk about threshold. So, I don't even have to look at my watch. I can, uh, how do I say this? I can get to a pace and then I can push myself a little bit harder to get to that threshold and then hold it. So I'm about a nine minute pace kind of guy. And then when I get going, I'm about an eight, eight fifteen pace. But I know where I'm comfortable and then you push yourself just a little bit past that. So let's get this run on. All right, so I just got done with the run. I uh, got a new PB. Uh, hour and 12 minutes for eight miles, uh, about a nine minute pace. Started out first, I don't know, five miles. It was a uh, good threshold run. I was looking at about uh, eight minute pace for, uh, man, that's, Salty sweat in your eyes is no good. So, like I was saying, uh, had that eight minute pace for about six miles, and then I cooled down for two miles, and here we are. Did really good. Uh, kept my heart rate about 132, which that's important when you're doing a threshold run, trying to hold it at that high mark. So, now we're gonna get ready to do 20 questions. I just gotta find my daughter and we'll do 20 questions. Get you a little bit about me and the sport and how I feel about the sport and what I do. So just like I promised, I uh, got done with the run today uh, and now we're gonna do 20 questions with Mackenzie. So the first question is going to be... What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green like the grass and blue like the skies. I got two of them. What's your favorite sport in triathlons? My favorite sport in triathlon is probably gonna be the run because I feel like you get the most out of the run. It's a real good stress reliever um, and you really gotta push through. What celebrity would you pick to do an Ironman with? So I would say probably Jeremy Camp. Jeremy Camp, um, he's a Christian artist and just from what I've seen, he looks pretty muscular. So I feel like with the right training and the good coach and the right training program, he could pull off a full Ironman. If there was a time machine, would you go back in, the, back in time or to the future? I would probably go back in time if I had a time machine because I like the, uh, the Vikings, like the Viking days. It's like real raw and, and um, I don't think they even wore shoes. So you could uh, run around bike and uh, without any shoes on it'd be kind of cool I think. If you weren't doing triathlons what sport would you do? I would probably do baseball because I really enjoy baseball um, just everything goes along with that I think baseball is my favorite sport other than the triathlon. If you could pick a sponsor who would it be? I would say probably Red Bull 
Um, I think Red Bull, um, just from looking at some of the stuff that I've seen on YouTube, they seem like they have the, the best sponsorship out there to offer. What makes you successful? Um, I would say successful in the triathlon. I would say putting in all the training and all the hours. And like I said before, if you don't put in the work, you're not going to get the results. So you have to put in the work to get the results. How many hours a week do you train? Uh, when I'm training for a half, it's going to be 10 to 12. But when you're training for a full, it could be anywhere from 15 and up. What pro athlete would you choose to train with? Pro athlete to train with would probably be Lionel Sanders because I really look up to him and all the progress and all the setbacks that he's had. I feel like I would, uh, I would like to do that with him. If you could pick a superpower to help you with your training, what would you pick? I would pick probably speed. I feel like if I had like a speed button I could push, then I'd be fast in all three and I would win every single race and that would be a good thing. What is your favorite brand to train in overall? I would say Roka's got some pretty good products out there. Uh, Roka, they have glasses that I use and a wetsuit. Uh, what is your favorite shoes to run in? My favorite shoes to run in is gonna be Hoka, hands down. Um, I pronate a little bit, so they got a real high arch in these uh, One, One Arahe 4s that I use, and I just love them. What has been your favorite, favorite open water swim? Favorite open water swim? I think would have to be Panama Beach City and Panama City Beach. Uh, quick story, I was going out and it was clear and then it went murky. And then I had a little tickle on my nose and I was like, man, what is that? And a jellyfish stung me. But after a couple of minutes it went away so it wasn't a big deal. But that's my, my little story on my first race, like big open water swim. What is your goal while doing triathlons? My goal to do triathlons is to make it to Kona. I felt like I was gonna do one and done, and now I'm three in and that hasn't happened. So definitely gonna hit that uh, 10 year mark and get legacy and go to Kona, or I'm gonna you know, make my age group in Chattanooga in September. What made you start triathlons? Um, I started running, and then when I started running, um, someone at church blessed me with a bike, and then I started riding. And then I'd always swam as a kid. So I was like, well, let's just swim. So I started swimming. If you could give anybody advice on triathlons, like what would be your best training tips? My best training tips on triathlon would be to just believe in yourself, uh, do your best, and just go for it. Would you leave your full-time job to be a pro athlete? I would. I would in a heartbeat. I would have to blink my eye and I would do it, hands down. What is the best swim gear brand? Best swim gear brand, like I was saying earlier, is going to be Roka. I love Roka. I love the wetsuit and I love the Sims. If you could buy any bike, no matter the price, what would you buy? I would probably do a Felt. Um, I really like Felt and I like their products. I also like Trek too, but uh, they can they get up to probably $40,000. so. Out of all three, running, biking, and swimming, what could you improve on? Uh, running, biking, and swimming, I feel like I could do a little bit better on biking. I'm pretty fast, but I feel like I push myself just a little bit harder. That's 20 questions. All right, so that's 20 questions with McKenzie. I want to thank you guys for watching this week's video. And remember, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you on next week's video.